Visiting an authorized dealer in 2024? It's almost like dipping into a mythical quest for that elusive Rolex. You've got those special models, the ones with flashy dials or the sleek Oysterflex bands, and the steel sports professionals. Well, trying to nab one of those is akin to snagging front row seats at a unicorn's comeback tour. Unless you've got a rock-solid bond with your dealer and you're part of their frequent spenders club, you might find the adventure somewhat underwhelming. It's supposed to be about the thrill, the whole ritual of stepping into the store, feeling the cool metal of a new watch on your wrist and soaking up the ambiance. But when that gets replaced by a waiting game and a feeling like you're just another name on a list, the magic wanes. Suddenly, you're not a treasure hunter. You're just someone standing in line, hoping the bouncer will notice you. Then there are the professional flippers, the grandmasters of the watch world, who stash away rare finds like pirates burying treasure. But for the rest of us mere mortals, the Rolex market has started to feel a little less like an exclusive club. Even some of the most sought-after models, like the Rolex Submariner, with its trusty unidirectional rotating bezel and glow-in-the-dark hands that ensure you can tell the time even in the darkest depths, are showing up just a tad above retail. Yes, those once phantom-like rarities that disappeared faster than a magician's rabbit are now hanging around just long enough for the rest of us to have a shot. Consider the Rolex GMT Master II, the jet setter's best friend, known for its rugged good looks and dual time zone functionality. It sports a robust two-tone ceramic bezel that's as tough as it is eye-catching, built to handle the rigors of frequent flying or just some spirited armchair adventuring. Then there's the day date with its presidential flair and the date just with its handy cyclops lens magnifying the date, a little touch that makes a big difference. These models are slowly becoming less like mythical creatures and more like reachable, wearable luxuries. It's a refreshing change, bringing a bit of leisurely charm back to the hunt for these fine watches and making the chase a tad more fun than frantic. However, the thrill of the chase, it's kind of lost its luster. Many are tired of the astronomical waiting lists, feeling more like they're chasing their tails than a timepiece. It's not just about snagging that dream watch anymore. It's about the full experience, the buzz of walking into the store, picking the perfect watch and strutting out, new treasure in tow. Unfortunately, that whole grab-and-go vibe has been yanked away, leaving watch enthusiasts to navigate a market game that's about as exciting as watching paint dry. What we offer truly stands out. It's about the entire experience. Our customers often tell us how much they enjoy every aspect of their visits, they leave not just with a new timepiece, but with great memories and stories to share. So if you have a solid rapport with your dealer, taking another shot might be worth it, especially if you have your eye on a specific model. However, it's interesting to note that even our longest standing clients, who have shown unwavering loyalty, sometimes find that their devotion isn't always reciprocated. It's a bit like playing a dating game where the rules aren't quite clear. On the other hand, for newcomers or anyone eyeing an entry-level date just, the outlook isn't exactly rosy. If you're stepping into the 2024 market, maybe temper those expectations. Seems like slim pickings. But hey, we're just here with our tea watching the great Rolex wheel go round. What's your spin on it? Before we move on, why not join the opulent Oasis crew? Subscribe for fresh, cutting-edge updates. Let's get back to it. Navigating the Rolex market in 2024, it's been nothing short of a roller coaster ride, with us holding the fast pass. We're blessed with a bird's eye view courtesy of our daily grind and the golden nuggets of wisdom our clients and industry pals share. This market isn't just busy, it's bustling with the kind of energy that would put a double espresso to shame. Sales are skyrocketing, and we're ramping up our team faster than a pit crew at the Indy 500 to keep pace. Meanwhile, prices are finding their footing again, giving us a leg up to be more competitive. Finally, some sanity in the pricing game, right? It's a welcome shift that's turning the daily hustle into an exciting scavenger hunt for the best deals. So buckle up. We're in for an interesting ride in this lively marketplace. Margins might be tighter, but we're dancing around them with the elegance of a cat navigating a rooftop, graceful yet always ready to leap. Every time we stock up, we're snagging slightly better deals, 
and that's music to everyone's ears, right? Keeping our prices competitive is akin to an intricate ballet. After all, we've crafted a reputation that's as solid as a vintage Rolex. It's something we wear with pride. Trust and credibility are our cornerstones, and they certainly don't come cheap. But who said staying on top of the game was easy? The market is buzzing louder than a beehive in spring, wouldn't you say? It's turned into a buyer's playground, with those who were once wary of high prices now diving headfirst into the fray. This new enthusiasm is infectious, turning every sale into a mini-celebration. It's a lively time to be in the Rolex game. Every day brings new faces, new excitement, and yes, new challenges, but that's just how we like it. Looking ahead, the watch market seems to be cruising along at a steady clip, but don't be surprised if there's a hiccup or two on the horizon. The era of flippers hoarding all the good stuff is taking a bit of a back seat, paving the way for true enthusiasts to get their hands on some real gems. However, if the big names in watches keep playing hard to get with their stock, we might face a bit of a drought in new releases. This could keep prices stable for a spell, kind of like a suspenseful pause in a thriller before the action kicks back up. What's really turning heads is the trend of people buying watches to get this, actually wear them. That's right, these treasures are seeing daylight and doing more than just upping the safety deposit box's glam factor. It's refreshing and kind of revolutionary to see collectors flaunt their timepieces in the wild. This move towards enjoying what you buy, not just stashing it, might just infuse the market with a new energy, making the world of watches an even more vibrant arena. Who knew wearing your watch could be such a radical move? It might just set the stage for a lively market where appreciation trumps speculation. So, are people still parking their cash in watches in 2024? It seems the winds have shifted from strict investment to pure enjoyment. Certainly there are still those sharp-eyed collectors scouting the horizons for rare gems like the elusive Pepsi dials, which might just be the next big thing. But we're a bit more reserved these days about calling every shiny timepiece an investment. Think of it more as enlightened collecting. The whole scene has morphed. Gone are the days when every conversation about watches ended with ROI. It's less about betting on future gains and more about the thrill of the hunt and the joy of the catch. This wave of enthusiasm for the art of the watch, rather than just its price tag, is refreshing. It's rekindling a passion for horology where the heart rules the wallet. It's quite a delightful twist bringing us back to why we started loving watches in the first place, for their intricate beauty and the stories they tell, not just the potential payday they might bring. This isn't just a market trend, it's more like a renaissance of appreciation, making the world of watches a much more vibrant place to dive into. As we start to wind down our chat, the future looks not just bright, but downright dazzling. The market is buzzing, teeming with life and packed with passionate enthusiasts, a perfect cocktail for watch lovers. We're eagerly watching the horizon, hoping Rolex might mix things up and bring a bit more everyday luxury into our lives. Wouldn't it be grand if buying a watch felt as splendid as showing it off? Now, we're curious about your take. What's your read on the current state of the watch market? Drop a comment below. We're all ears and keen for a bit of banter. See you in the next video.